Hey, good looking. So here's the scoop. Today's workout is the perfect, absolutely best workout. If you are looking for a quick, under 20 minute, efficient, effective workout that will tone and strengthen your abs while also working your heart and lungs. It's my 20 minute ab hit workout. You ready? Excellent, let's go. with PJ and today's workout is my 20 minute ab hit workout. You're not going to need any tools. I've got everything set up on the timer. I'm going to warm you up, work you out and cool you down baby. You ready? Excellent. Let's go. All right. We're going to start with a little warm up drill here. I want you to hinge through the hips, walk yourself all the way out into a straight arm plank, wrist under the shoulders. Now step forward with your left foot and then sweep the left arm up. So revolve triangle. Hand back, good. Other side, and sweep. Beautiful. Now drop down onto the knees for me. Give me a tricep push up. Press yourself back up to straight plank and walk yourself back up. Let's do it again, baby. Here we go. Walk on out. Keep those legs straight. Wrist under the shoulders. Step forward left. Sweep left arm. Oh, rotate. Love it. Other side, ready, sweep. Beautiful. Tap down onto the knees. Give me that push up, walk yourself back. Lovely, one more, ready? Walk it out for me, all the way into plank. Step forward left, sweep left arm, arm down, feet together, step forward right, sweep right arm. Feet together, drop down on the knees, tricep push up. Beautiful, now stay in plank. Oh, don't go anywhere. Now take your left leg, tap out to the side, bring it center, now your right leg. Perfect. Other side. You got it. Four more. Here's four. Three, two, one. Walk your hands back all the way up. Lovely. Feet together, arms down by your side. Take her back up for a jumping jack. If you don't like the jumping portion, you can do this, all right? Stepping out side to side. If you're familiar with my workouts, then you know I give modifications for every single move so that no matter where you are in your fitness journey, baby, you're going to get fit with me. If you're new to the channel, welcome! Nice to have you. Love it. Comment below after you've done the workout. I love to hear from people. Woo! I already feel like I need water and I haven't even done the warm up yet. Here we go. It's just going to be one of those workouts, I think. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna pull my pants up and then I'm going to have myself a sip of water. Now we're gonna start on the mat, legs up in the air for a reverse curl. We have 40 seconds work, 15 seconds rest in between two rounds. So let's take her down for me, lie right down, Legs are up, arms are down by your sides. Now roll the tailbone up off the mat and come down. Good. More advanced people, you can extend the legs right up. So you'll, you will uncross your legs and then look up as you extend up. So you've got the two options. Cross at the ankles, head stays on the mat, rolling up, or uncross. Give me that reverse curl and then extend out. Yes? Yes. Now when we extend out, we want to try and get the legs as parallel to the ground as we can. However, you do not want to feel it in your back. So find the move that you will feel in your abs, not your low back. Time. All right, I'm going to teach you a mountain climber hop switch. So I'll show you the advance, so I'll show you the exercise, and then I'll show you how to modify it. Get in a straight arm plank for me and step forward with that left foot. Yes, you there? Beautiful. Now I want you to push through the hand and switch sides. Push through the hand, switch, switch sides. Mountain climber, hop switch. If you need to modify this, go into straight arm plank and step around. No hopping. Okay? Okay. So this is the ab drill that's supposed to drive heart rates up, so I want you to push and I want you to work, baby. We got bicycle crunches coming up in 12 seconds. Let's go. 
Keep the form tight. Don't lose the form. Push through those hands. Hop switch those feet. One more. Dive. All right, bicycle crunches. On our backs, hands are light behind the head, and we're gonna cycle the legs like so. However, some people feel that in their backs, if that's you, I want you to keep the feet on the ground like so. Let's give her a try. Cycle or keep the feet on the ground. Now, if you're cycling the legs, I want you to go slow and controlled. Extend that leg so it's just hovering over the ground. Elbows stay back. Feeling it in the abdomen, not in your low back. I see a lot of interesting variations of the bicycle when I go to the gym, so I want you to keep your form tight. Don't go fast, don't go furious. You're not flinging your elbows around, all right? This is an ab exercise. Last four. One more each side. Release. Beautiful, roll ourselves up. We're gonna get into a straight arm plank and tap the leg out and sweep it under. I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. Wrists under the shoulders, straight arms. Take your left leg, tap. Now bring your left leg together. Now sweep it under the body. Right leg, tap, center, sweep. Do it again. Tap out, bring your feet together, and then sweep that leg and keep it as straight as possible to come under. Other side, we're alternating. Now alternatively, you can come down on the forearms. And you can also come down on the knees and just hold a knee plank if that's where you're at for your core. All right, don't push stop, don't push pause. Just find what's gonna work for you and keep with it. We have some burpees coming up in 10. Time. All right, now our burpee drill can be done in 10 or you can modify it. So don't push stop. Here we go, we're gonna jump up. Place the hands as close to the feet as we can and jump the feet back. Ready? Jump up. Hands close to the feet, jump back. Good, alternatively, reach up, no jumping. Hands down and then I want you to step back and then step in. See? Now let's go. Hup. Keep that form tight. Try to drop those hands as close to the feet as you can. Not too far out and flat palm, okay? No TP hands. I know that trick. Yes, a burpee works your abs. Done. Standing side crunch. Standing, hence the name standing side crunch. Hands light behind your ears. And we're gonna side bend to our right and bring the right knee up at the same time. Ready? Let's go. Here we go, elbows back. So you try to bring that right rib to hip. Whew. Burpees can get a girl breathing hard, huh? Rotate the knee out ever so slightly. If you have a hard time with balance, focus your stare on something stationary. It's a good balance drill. Now we've got a fast mountain climber drill coming up and then we're standing and we'll do the other side of your side crunch. Keep it tight, come down low. Last three, two, one. All right, so remember which side you did because we'll go to the other side after this exercise. Start in a straight arm plank, wrist right under your shoulders, fingertips straight ahead, that's crucial. From here, drive your left knee in, extend, then your right knee. Do it again, left, right. Now you can pick the tempo up for more advanced people and we're here for 40 seconds. So just breathe and just focus on your form. Don't worry about how hard it is. Don't worry about whether or not you can do it. Because you can, girl, you can. Or boy, if you're watching. Try to keep the feet hip width so you're not moving too much in the hips. Last five seconds. Okay, if you're not feeling your abs right now, I don't know, you need to email me because we need to fix something because you should be. All right, we've got the other side with our side bent. So hands light behind the ears, elbows back, lift up through the torso, lift up the left knee, 
and then bring that left hip towards the rib. So you're creating that side crunch pattern while we're balancing on your right leg. We have two more moves to do, and then that's the circuit. And we're gonna take it back from the top. This is such a quick little workout, perfect workout to do first thing in the morning. You don't think you're gonna have time to work out. Put this baby on, you'll feel great. Energize yourself for the day. Last one, time. All right, we're getting into a plank jack. So we're gonna go on our forearms for this and toes for advanced, knees for modified. And from this position, we're going to jack the feet out at the same time, so jacking out. Now, alternatively, you can tap out as well. So how would that look on the knees? Like so, on the knees and tapping out. Keep moving, I want you to know at home, I have been training people for over 20 years. So I can safely and effectively get you trained no matter where you are. If you're just beginning or if you're an intermediate advanced, so stick with it, okay? This is more for the beginners thinking, I can't do this. You can! Let's go! Windshield wipers coming up. Time. All right, let's take ourselves on our backs. Arms are extended out, and I want you to anchor down with the palms lined up with the shoulders. Extend the legs as straight as you can and keep them together. That's key. Slowly lower your legs to one side of your body as low as you can. Keeping the feet together, pull back up to center, then the other side. So you want to look like your windshield wipers in your car. It's a great move for the waist muscles, what we call your obliques. So also provides a little bit of movement in the lower lumbar, getting some movement in that SI joint. Last few seconds, and then we're taking it from the top with our reverse curl. One more. Time. All right, so remember that reverse curl pattern. You've got that option. Cross at the ankles, just rolling the tailbone up off the mat, or uncross the ankles and extend the legs out with the head lifting up as well. Arms down by your side, give her a go. Reverse curl, extend. We got mountain climber hop switch coming up. Almost home. Woo! That one was getting the old tummy warm. All right, mountain climber hop switch. You've got that option. You can do regular mountain climber, like so or join me on the hop switch. So bring the left foot beside the left pinky or as close to the left pinky as you can. Push through the hands and switch. Push through the hands, switch.
Whoa, I'm loving this workout. Make sure you comment below what you think. Whew. Last five seconds. Oh, I can feel my abs. Love it, love it, love it. Time. Whew. All right, we got the tap out mountain climber with that leg then sweeping underneath the body. You can go on the hands or on the forearms for modified. Get the wrists under the shoulders, fingers wide, straight ahead. Tap out left, bring the feet together. Now sweep it under, do it again, other leg. Hey, keep those hips down too. There's gonna to be this want to hike the hips right up if we sweep the leg under. Fight that. We need the body parallel with the ground to really challenge the deep core muscles. Last couple, we got burpees coming up. Give me one more here. Sweep it under. Woo! Done. <sighs> All right, burpee. We add the hop, hands close to the feet, jumping the feet back. You can do no hop to modify. Ready, set, go. Whoa. Leg out. 
Let's get down there. Get into that plank, shoulders pulled back and down, and jump it. Remember, you have that option of tapping as well. Try not to push the hips up too high, so it's not this bouncy, bouncy move. It's very controlled through the core and hip area. Almost pretend you have a, the ceiling, like just an inch above your bum. You don't want to hit that ceiling, so don't think about height too much here. It's a lateral movement. Windshield wipers coming up in 10. Woo! Time. All right, on our backs. We're anchoring ourselves with our palms pressing into the mat, and you want everything lined up with your shoulders. Extend the legs. I want you to flex the feet, so pull the toes towards you. Heels together. Drop the legs down, keep the feet together, center, other side. Now if this is too much for you, you can bend the knees at 90, and that's going to decrease how much weight is being dropped down. So the straighter your leg, the heavier it is away from the body, right? Basic fulcrum here. Keep those feet together though when you come back up to center. Don't cheat and let your top one get up there before your bottom leg. <whistles> Time! Beautiful! Now don't leave me yet, okay? I still gotta stretch out a little bit and work a little bit into the posture you're changing of your body. So I want your feet hip width apart, arms down by your side. Lift your hips up as high as you can. And then if you're able to, interlace your hands underneath your bum and then walk and pin the shoulders under and lift the hips up higher. Now if you're unable to do that, just grab onto your hands and pin the shoulders under. But really drive through the heels and get the hips up high. We're stretching a bit into the abs and quads. Well, and more importantly, we work into the glutes, hamstrings, and low back. So the opposing muscle group of everything we just trained. Super important that you have a balanced routine. So when you train one side of your body, oh baby, don't forget about the other side. If you do, injury will happen. And if you're over 40 like me, it takes a little longer to recover. So it's best just to stay not injured. And release down. Take yourself onto your stomach. We're gonna do a modified Superman move. One of the arms extended out like your Superman, feet close together. Now lift up one arm and the opposite leg at the same time. And then do that same side again. We've got 14 each side. Here we go. Ready? Keep both hips in contact with your mat. So we're cooling down here. And as I said, working the back muscles so that they get as just as much love as our core just did, as our abs just did. Four more. We'll switch sides. Other side. Last four. Release. All right, let's get the abs a good stretch here. Place your elbows underneath your shoulders. It's a modified cobra. Press through the backs, or sort of, pardon me, through the tops of your feet and lift the chest up and look up. So we're extending the spine and getting a stretch in the abs. And then press yourself back. Do the alternate stretch, hips going rear, dropping the head to the mat, and breathe. Final, wrists out of the shoulders, knees apart and underneath the hips. Inhale, let the low back sag, head looks up. Exhale. 
exhale, press the ground away, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, exhale, find neutral, just bring the hip to one side, look over that same side shoulder, and then hip to the other side, look over, three more, one more each side, and release, hey, hey, thank you so much for joining me, now look, there's three ways that you can continue um, sticking around with the community, the first I would love for you is to subscribe to the channel, there's a little red box down in the corner there that you, you can click to subscribe. Second, hey, head to my website, fitnesswithpj.com. I have a great and amazing and free 21-day fitness makeover just waiting for you. And then finally, you can also head to the blog at fitnesswithpj.com because that's where really I get in and delve into a lot of great tips, recipes, techniques, exercises specific for the over 40 crowd. So I'd love to see you at any of those places. So until next workout, you go forth and be fit. Okay, check this out. Episode seven. <laughs> it's in 17 more sleeps. Oh my God, I've been waiting too long for this. Can't wait.